on this Tuesday. We'll have another check of our forecast straight ahead. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Hey, good afternoon. I'm meteorologist Jay Galley. You can see behind me finally starting to work in a little bit of sunshine after being overcast for most of the day. Let's go back yesterday. Remember, we had that chance for severe weather yesterday morning. Aside from the thunderstorm wind damage we had in and around Ponchatoula, the National Weather Service survey team just reported that an EF1 tornado did in fact touch down right around the Gonzales area in Ascension Parish, about uh, 30 miles wide on the ground for 3.5 miles, estimated winds at about 90 miles miles per hour. So we did have some severe weather yesterday morning. Nothing like that right now. After that front move through, we're left with a little bit of cloud cover, which you really can't see in this channel. The satellite picture, you can see the rain nowhere near us. Here's the low clouds. There they are. They finally burn back on the south shore. If you're on the north shore, eh, still a little overcast. And notice temperatures across the state right now, mainly in the 50s, 52 in Shreveport. You get down to the airport in Kenner. 59 degrees and our high today. Take a look. 66 degrees. When did that happen? Just after midnight. Yep. And then we cooled off bottomed out at about 55 degrees. And since we have bounced back up to about 58, 60 degrees, we're going to continue cooling though as we move our way uh, through the afternoon and get into the evening hours. Mid to upper 50s right now. North Shore 62 in Gulfport, 58 in Boothville and currently at the airport in Kenner, 59 degrees, but 66 in Homa with a little bit of sunshine there in Terrible and Parish and notice the winds still maintaining a bit of an offshore component. That's a cooler, drier direction. Winds are light right now, so that will provide optimal cooling in the overnight hours. So here's the setup in the upper levels. Notice we've got this big broad trough across most of the United States. We get these little disturbances rotating through. This dip is going to flatten out a little bit. We are going to get a little what we call a short wave trough moving across the pattern here, and that's going to be enough to nice. eventually send some uh, bless you, Margaret, some uh, cold front, some, some cold air our way. I don't know if you heard that, but it's Margaret sneezes loud from time to time. There's a cold front, so it's going to kind of linger and hang right at the bottom. Watch, then it's going to stall and just hang across the area. And then notice there's a little bit of rain as the front finally gets that push in the upper levels. This is going to be early Thursday morning, and then it turn, transitions back over to a cold front. So rain chances for Thursday, about 20, maybe 30%. As we get to Thursday evening, notice we do clear out. High pressure sets up, and we are looking at the chance of upper 20s on the North Shore by Friday morning and upper 30s on the South Shore. So if you want the cold air, stand by. It is coming. So tonight, upper 40s to lower 50s, upper 40s on the North Shore, the lower to mid 50s on the South Shore, partly cloudy cool. It's probably going to be a little fog in and around the area, so be aware of that as you make your way out and about. Going to go with a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow, cool to mild. Winds will stay light, mid 60s to upper 60s, and have a look at your seven day forecast. So. Here we go. That front will finally push through Thursday morning. About a 20% chance of rain. I have AM. I think most of the rain will happen. Whatever does develop will be in the morning. And on Friday, take a look. We stay in the 40s. Uh, it's, I got 30 right now for the North Shore. But notice on Saturday, definitely upper 20s. Many areas will see some freezing temperatures by Saturday. So get ready. Break 